I'd like to turn the microphone over now to Lieutenant Colonel Charlie Burke, who knew and served with Captain Euristan. Marines, uh, friends, just want to say a few things. Uh, Captain Eurista showed up here uh, when the regiment was deployed and uh, kind of talked about some career options. And the thing that the thing that struck me most was, uh, I mean, Trevor was a warrior. He did a great job back here uh, leading Marines. But when that day came down uh, from the division for a request for the Marines to go to Afghanistan, uh, I, I knew before I talked to Trevor that, that he, he'd go, and he volunteered with enthusiasm. Uh, to, and he, he was one of a couple of officers that, that led that charge. The thing that I remember um, that I'd like to share with you today is you know, Trevor was an exceptional Marine. He was an exceptional individual. Uh, he made an impact on my life. And he made an impact on many lives of not just the Marines that he led and he worked with, but he made an impact you know, on his neighbors, on, on family and friends around this community. They got to know him in a very short time. He took the effort to go out into the community and, uh, and do the right thing. And he was never afraid. He was never afraid. I, I made a comment on his uh, last fitness report before he left. You know, I marked him you know, as one of the few exceptional Marines. And on that um, on that document, I, I wrote that Trevor was the type of Marine that the citizens of this country expect and demand of our Marines. And I think that that just kind of it just it came to me with, without much thought that he, he was the kind of Marine that the people of our country think of when they think of U.S. Marines. Uh, he truly was a, an exceptional man. Um, th those of us, there's quite a few folks here that, that made the journey back to the funeral um, last early November of, of last year. And um, when I got there, there were there were hours and you know four or five hours of line the line of an incredible number of, of people you know New York policemen uh, friends and family from from the East Coast that um, that we were able to engage and, and talk about Trevor and learn about a different part of his life um, but Tre Trevor was a fighter and uh, you know on a, on, a, on, a, on a real neat note his mother Donna um, Real small lady. Um, you know, once I met her, I knew where Trevor got his courage and, and his aggressiveness because she's a fighter and uh, and she's a great lady. So you know, even though that his family, Heather and uh, Donna and his father, uh, are unable to be here, uh, they're always in our in our thoughts and prayers. And for me personally, you know, there's never a day that goes by that I don't think about uh, that young man and, and what he gave for his country. Um, so thank you, Marines, um, for being here today. Um, many of you who knew Trevor personally and uh, got to understand a little bit of his leadership and what a great uh, young Marine officer he was, uh, but just a great man and uh, Semper Fi, Trevor. My name is John Hicks. I am the uh, one of the directors of the 5th Marine Regiment Support Group in Dana Point. And I'm honored today to be here uh, at this ceremony honoring Trevor and what he uh, meant to this Combat Fitness Center. Uh, Colonel Buell, I know that uh, Mayor Dana Point, Lisa Bartlett, and other council members would uh, love to be here today. Today, this afternoon, they have meetings, and then this evening they have uh, council member meeting, so unfortunately they're not be able to be here. Uh, also, the uh, Diane Harkey, who is a director of the 5th Marine Regiment Support Group, is a former uh, 
uh, council member and mayor of Dana Point. Would love to be here today, but she has other obligations. She's a, currently a, a assemblywoman of the state of California and is preoccupied with state business. Otherwise, she would love to be here. The, um, the, the, I be, learned uh, or met Trevor uh, during the first part of 2008 as a director of the 5th Marine Regiment Support Group. We were tasked uh, basically with the mission and shortly in 2004, the city of Dana Point adopted the 5th Marine Regiment to provide comfort, support, and outreach to the members of the 5th Marine Regiment and their families here in Camp Pendleton and when they were deployed. I had the opportunity to work with Trevor uh, during that period of time on a number of, of uh, activities, um, fundraising activities that, that helped support the 5th Marine Regiment. Trevor worked hard with us. He was, a, he was a great man. He worked hard because he knew the 5th Marine Regiment was going to support, the 5th uh, Marine Regiment support group was going to support his 5th Marines. And as a result of that, he gave a lot of his time and effort to our group. We became very close friends. Uh, he trusted uh, our group uh, to provide a lot of information uh, to us to help us do our job to support his men. The, uh, I know a number of people that, well, who is Trevor Eurista? Well, I can tell you a little bit about uh, Trevor Eurista. Uh, first of all, he's the loving son of Donna and Ron Eurista. He is the uh, devoted brother of Heather. He was the playful uncle of little Luke and Stevie. And he went Basically, he was, he, was, he was raised in the uh, Pleasant Valley of New York, about 75 miles north of New York City. He went to the local Arlington High School, participated in a variety of sporting activities. After high school, he went to John Jay College of Criminal Justice, received his uh, master's degree, and in 2005, he went to the Marine Corps Officer Training Program, graduated the MOS and in ground intelligence. Following his <coughs> training in ground, ground intelligence, he uh, uh, served two deployments in Iraq um, and came back. And in 2008, he worked with the, uh, the 5th Marine Regiment. He was stationed here at 5th Marine Regiment. And that's where we had our um, fine encounters. We, we had a great time together. Um, if you had an opportunity to go to New York and meet his mother, she would welcome you in his home, in their home, and, and she would give you a great big old hug and offer you a beverage, and then she would show you around the house. And she would show you some pictures of Trevor. And there's one picture I remember of Trevor. He's in his little late uniform. He's kneeling. He's got a baseball bat glove and hat. He loves sports. He also another picture, it was a great picture of Trevor. Uh, and he's laying on a knee, uh, kneeling. He's got a football cradle in his arm, football helmet. He was a tough kid. He loved sports. He liked to mix it up. Trevor was also had a great affinity for motorcycles. He uh, always had a motorcycle. He, Tear it apart, put it back together. There's a great picture of Trevor in in the air in a motorcycle. It's coming down, uh, fully captured in air. He's got his helmet on, his uh, protective gear on, and so forth. Great picture of him smiling. Uh, well, he was smiling afterwards, but it's a great picture of Trevor. That's the kind of young man he was. I mean, he he enjoyed the thrill of speed. He enjoyed the excitement. Uh, provided by you know, riding his motorcycles. Um, 